Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun, and this is a really cool advanced tutorial. Um, basically, I had a uh, another tutorial that was exactly like this, but it was very amateurish, and uh, so I want to go ahead and redo that. Um, anyways, what you want to need to do if you want to do this effect is you want to download the links in the description. One is the video, and one is the sound. Um, now, what a heads-up display interface is is it's like all these buttons and like crosshairs and um, and numbers that pop up on the screen and it makes it like look like a computer electronic geekiness of doom but it also makes it look very cool in my opinion um, so basically what you want to do is just import those into Vegas um, with your clip that you want to do it to so I have a black ops clip here and I have it imported in my project media so what you want to do is bring in the heads-up display interface video um, select it hit you on the keyboard to uh, ungroup it from the audio and delete the audio um, so now what you want to do is create a video track and put that above it. Now the cool thing about this, uh, as the heads-up display interface is that it's very fast and you can slow it down if you have a really long clip or something, um, and it won't look terrible. Um, so that's a really cool thing. Just slow it down to how many, however long you want and it'll look fine. Um, but anyways, let's create a new audio track and take the sound and put it under there. Now another thing that's cool is that the sound that uh, I've provided is actually a loop, so that means if you duplicate it and put it back to back, it'll sound like it's like the same thing. It'll loop itself. Um, all you have to do is just click and drag it. You don't have to hold control, and it'll sound perfect no matter how long you put it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the length of my clip. Now what you want? Well, now what you see is that uh, the black of the uh, heads up display interface is covering it so you need to do both of these things to get rid of the black completely um, usually you could just hit uh, go to the compositing mode which is this button and go to add now you'll see that it'll get rid of the black but it's not completely it still has like I don't know it still has some black remnants um, on the parts that are not the scope if, if you can tell I can't I mean you, know, you can't really tell um, on my preview screen but there is and what you need to do is go to video effects chroma key and drag the word chroma key onto the heads up display interface now in the color selector what you want to do is select black and now you'll see that it's a lot better um, and it gets rid of the black completely so I recommend you do both of those things um, and it'll help your clip out so uh, I unfortunately I can't show you guys the finished product but if you go ahead and uh, try this out on your own uh, I'm sure you'll see how awesome it looks because mine will lag and probably crash Vegas and all this stuff so um, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.